Anil Comet here, and I'm excited to introduce to you this 1976 Mossman Tennessee flat top. It's in its original case and in fantastic shape for its age. Uh, the finish looks really good, crackled all around, and is structurally in very great shape. Although being 50 years old, it, it will need a, quite a bit of work to be in top form again. This guitar will be for sale after the work shown here, and this is a good demonstration of my brand of functional restoration for a vintage instrument. So keep watching, there's a lot of exciting work ahead, blending new with old. It's been a really fun project to work on. I'm very lucky to have the opportunity. Here's the label, number 76, 2671. That was a golden age. Top looks good on the inside. The truss rod's underperforming a bit, and we definitely need a neck reset. We'll probably fill and redrill these bridge pin holes. A little short on intonation for the treble side by a couple millimeters. On the bass side, by half a millimeter, we're definitely in new bridge territory here, especially because this one's been flattened in, in lieu of a neck reset. So the bridge must go. Uh, that's a great removal there. Here's some candidate blanks. I chose this one because it's similar to the fingerboard. It's an unmodified Mossman bridge on the left. I will be looking for a similar shape place these pinholes along a slanted line to reduce the chances of the bridge cracking in the future. Here's a preliminary fit, scribing removing the finished, preparing to glue the bridge to the top with hide glue. There's a patched bridge plate, successful gluing, getting ready for saddle slot, successful saddle slot, pins going in. Here's the scope of the neck reset, about 75 thousandths of an inch. And apply some heat to take off the fingerboard from the body and remove the neck from the body using vinegar, not steam, for a Mossman. A setting a bolt on neck is a lot easier than a dovetail neck. I'll just make some space, tip it back, and endeavor not to chip the finish as we work. Now I'm going to go ahead and take off the fingerboard and put in a modern truss rod. Now it's time to plane the fingerboard, reestablish the cone shape of that fingerboard, about 14 inch radius at the nut, 20 inch radius over the body. And do that down to about 600 grit sandpaper. And now I'll clean out the fret slots chamfer the fret slots, hammer in pre-bent, pre-polished frets, trim them, file them flush to the fingerboard, always being wary of the finish, making sure not to damage the finish. Some fret leveling and dressing here, File those fret tops to a hairline peak. Rounding the fret ends. Polishing the fret ends. Making it look and feel great. Here's some before and after picks. Brace carving on the top, inside. There's a lot of brace mass on a Mossman. Mix for a tight instrument, but it could be quite a bit louder. Also took a fair bit off the back braces. And that's the full set of work that this nearly 50 year old instrument needs to be set up and ready for another 50 years of hard work. And fellow Mossman guitar lover Andrew Morris of the Match Sellers offered to visit us and help test out this new old instrument. Alrighty.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>